Hey everybody, welcome back to Touchy Reactions. We got something special for you tonight. Adam told me I gotta check out this band called Sleep Token. We're gonna be watching four songs tonight. The first one's called The Night Does Not Belong to God. The second one is Is It Really You? The third one is Atlantic. And the last one is called Telomeres. Telomeres, right? yeah. All right, we're gonna be watching lyrics for all four of these videos. No, no lives, no music videos. I just wanna hear the music. I wanna see what the stories are behind the songs. And then I'll, you know, I'll give Adam my honest reaction as to what I think. He's telling me he's pretty amazed at this band right now. They're like his number one band he's listening to right now. And uh, he's really excited about it. So uh, today is his birthday. And uh, I figure I'd give him this gift and allow him to participate in a reaction video to his favorite band. There you go. <laughs> we just had a nice big steak dinner. We're ready to sit down, listen to some good music. His beautiful wife, Kayla's in the distance over there. Say hi, Kayla. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into this first video. This is for The Night Does Not Belong to God by Sleep Token. All right. Pause it right there. We're about halfway through the song. I'll give you my initial impressions. Uh, if the rest of these songs are a little faster, I think we should have started with a faster song. This one's kind of slow. It's kind of, uh, to me, it's kind of, it's putting you in a mood. I like that part of it. It's definitely putting me in, it kind of feels like a Coldplay song. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the way the music sounds behind his his vocals, and uh, he even sounds a little bit like the lead singer Coldplay. This sounds... It, you could have told me this was a new Coldplay song, and I I probably wouldn't have figured it out until, you know, I would have been like, damn, the singer sounds a little different, but uh, the music sounds like a Coldplay song. I don't I don't hate it. I'm not in love with it right now, but uh, it's not, you know, it's good. It's a good song. It's definitely, it's one of these songs you might put on at the end of a long day and just cruise home from work and, and let everything out of your mind kind of thing. That's how, I, that's the kind of mood it gives me. The thing about Sleep Token is they do a really good job of like, building their song up yes. over time and then bringing it back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
they're the really atmosphere. Kind of, they, they build the atmosphere. It's super ambient, super atmospheric. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very like meditative almost. A lot of their songs are for me, at least. Um, they're just really good to tune out to and just kind of space out in your own head. But let's uh, back it up a couple seconds here. I want to capture this moment of this particular part of the song. Oh, the part that's coming in right now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So far, it's, it's like I say, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I see what it is. It's putting me in a good mood. And, uh, you know, we'll move on from here. So yeah, very like meditative almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this track in particular is the slowest of the bunch uh, that we've got lined up. Okay, uh, okay. It's just kind of a. I really wanted to showcase this guy's voice because like the dude has an insane voice. Yeah, yeah. His harmonies good. and melodies are good. Just... Singer, like I said, I got nothing negative to say. Uh, this song right here, I have to listen. Let me listen to the other three, and I'll let you know which ones are my favorite. But uh. I don't know what to make of this one right now. So I'm just going to table that. We'll come back to it. And uh, let's listen to the next one. Is it really you? Oh, is this the one we don't have the lyrics for? Uh, correct. So right. we'll have to. So we're going to play the song. And we're going to look at a lyric uh, page that we got pulled up on a different screen. And uh, this track in particular is originally by a band called Loathe. Uh, this is a collab with Lo Loathe and Sleep Token. Okay. Where uh, they kind of took the song from Loathes, you know. And put their twist on it? Yeah. Okay. So. Very good. All right. This is uh, Is It Really You by Loathe and Sleep Token. Here we go.
All right, so we're halfway through this song. I think I like this one better. I'm starting to get a feel of uh, the vibe, and his voice is actually uh, a lot more prevalent in this one than it was in the last one to me. I can really hear it. Um, you, where'd you say these guys are from? Uh, Britain. They're from England? Yeah. Um, how did you discover them? I got recommended by a good buddy of mine. Uh, he recommended the band to me, and I checked them out, and you know, I listened to some of their heavier stuff first, and then you know, I got into the more surreal surreal tracks yeah yeah i think this one is actually my favorite right now this is the one that i've been listening to how would you describe this band as far as what genre you think they're in uh the term i always hear thrown around with sleep token is blue metal which i totally agree um does that mean like uh uh i don't want to say blue as in like sadness blue kind of yeah Yeah. like it's ambient it's really like just softer heavy emotionally it's somber yeah softer uh soft metal yeah okay um but they do have some heavier tracks you know they're okay. not just you know but the tracks i like the most are tracks like this the, the lighter ones okay i'm enjoying it all right let's uh do this Christ by silence no like a metal lullaby yeah i was gonna ask you what what are you typically doing when you listen to this music what what is uh, your... you know sometimes i'm just working at work and yeah. listening uh it's really good driving music just driving it and quiets thinking. your mind a little bit kind of thing yeah or like you know when you get home you just park the car and you just let the song play out yeah that kind of thing i was uh i was i forgot to say on that first song i really couldn't decipher what that first song was about this one feels like someone that's talking about dealing with depression. Uh, the opening verses in here when it was talking about uh, face away, deal with the pain your own way. How, how could you deal with the pain? Feels like somebody that's going through some loss. Uh, let's search, search the skies for a while. That In my mind, I picture a couple of people just laying in the grass, staring up at the stars, thinking about life or whatever. Um, what what is what what do you take away from yeah i definitely pick up the kind of like love song vibes of that that chorus yeah um you know it's maybe like uh you have that piece about being going through depression going through a rough spot but also yeah. maybe with the chorus kind of looking at the sky like like it's a better looking at looking for something better you know people dealing with sorrow and uh, uh depression that kind of thing kind of thinking about the sky and not like the world around you maybe okay. uh of those two that we've heard so far i think this one's my favorite so far yeah. all right let's go to the next one there's typically two vibes from sleep token it's either kind of heavy or it's this really sweet just yeah. very clean and uh atmosphere could be the term i, I keep popping to the front yeah. of my brain atmosphere yeah. all right this next one is called atlantic 
it's like being hit by a wave, kind of. Just of like, it, it's heavy. You can feel it. Yeah. Almost can wave. When you say wave, I feel like I'm in a wave pool. Yeah. And it's just kind of washing over me, and I'm kind of just going with the music kind of thing. Yeah. All right. This one is called Atlantic, and uh, here we go. You want to say anything before we start? No, it's a okay. good one, too. Let's rock. Here we go. The lyrics in this one are just uh, crazy poetic. Mm -hmm. I, I start to think I see what this song is about, and then the whole next two verses take me in a whole nother direction. And then, so then I change my mind on what I think the song is about, and then it goes a whole third direction. I, I, I'm not quite sure. Do you have a theory on this song? Oh, not at all. Every stanza is like a completely different yes. feel. Yes, yes. Uh, it's beautiful, though. But the it, language is like so creative in it. It's very poetic. Um, it's giving me all these crazy visuals in my mind, and the music's really pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> Goosebumps right there. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. To me, this is the type of song you turn off all the lights in your house and you crank this up really loud and you just close your eyes, and let it immerse you. Uh, so let me tell you where my brain went when I was trying to figure out what this song was about. First, I was thinking it was about uh, uh, soldiers dealing with the uh, trauma of the the killings that they'd done and they'd wanted to be like for, absolved of their sins. Then I thought it was about cops who uh, had done... Uh, committed crimes and they were burying the bodies in the ocean kind of thing. And that one day that temple of, uh, you know, uh, future daughters. Well, yeah. The temple of future daughters maybe was the institution of law enforcement would crumble when the oceans recede and they find the bodies kind of thing. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, man. It, I kind of, I get the vibes that it might be about, suffering from an illness and being on your deathbed with an illness because really? you know talk me through the damage you know consequence and how it's a pain the part about uh trying not to turn into statues around the bedside hmm. you know like yeah because a lot of times when someone's suffering in a, in a hospital bed their loved ones around them just kind of come in and turn into statues around yeah, the bed and you've got you know yeah that's a uh, hell of a visual you've got uh you know, don't wake me up, things like that. It could be maybe about like dementia or something like maybe. that. Maybe. I don't know. I I love I love when there's songs that can have multiple different impacts on different people. And uh sometimes bands won't release the actual meaning of a song because they want to leave it open to interpretation because it means different things to different people. Uh I heard a I forget who said it, but every song is somebody's favorite song. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I forget where I forget where I heard that. It might have even been a lyric in, in a song, but to somebody, every song is the, in the world, somebody, that's their favorite song. So, All right, last one coming up. This is called Telomeres. Telomeres? Telomeres. Telomeres. I think no, this one kind of captures the best of both sides of what's A little bit of heavy, a little bit do. of uh, yeah, symphonic. And I, uh, this one, before I heard it, Is It Really You, this one was my favorite Sleep Token song. Um, and it's pretty close between the two of them. Uh, I would say of the three we've listened to right now, I actually liked Atlantic. Atlantic was the first song that I heard by them that really hooked me to this band. And the more I listened to them... I'm wondering if my opinions are just because the more I hear them, the more I like them kind of thing. So whatever the last song I Well, heard yeah, it's was... exposure bias. Yeah, yeah. So the first one, I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I didn't know what they sounded like. But uh, I liked Atlantic the most so far then it was the, is it really you and then the first song i didn't like i said i didn't dislike the first song it was just uh, it, it was the first favorite. time hearing anything from yeah, yeah, the yeah. band so you try right. trying to get a grip of what they are i'm rambling on let's go ahead and jump into this last one here this is uh telomeres by sleep token you ready oh yeah here we go you
Um, this one has a lot more of a commercial sound to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, a lot of music on the radio is a formulaic uh, opening verse, chorus, second verse, chorus, ad lib, chorus. Uh, I'm not saying I know this is that's where this is going, but uh, it feels like it has that more uh, norm. The other songs had kind of their own unique uh, Style, sound, yeah. And this one feels a lot more uh, commercial. Feels like it might be the track that they release when they drop the album, kind of thing, just to get airplay. Um, uh, I breathe you out, you drink me in. It, uh, this. Based on just the first verse, I'm feeling like this is a love song. Yeah, I get those vibes too. Yeah, yeah. But I might be wrong, man. They, they, they've surprised me with all three songs that we've listened to so far. So let's see where this next verse goes. I would just say they're also, they're just so good with their music composition. Yeah. Like it's hitting, an orchestral. hitting the right feels at the right times with their, and that build up. They're just so good at building their songs. Yeah, up. the energy, the. I almost feel bad pausing because as soon as they create an atmosphere that we're soaked in, I stop it and we talk and it breaks that mental thing. But this is a reaction video. That's how they work. All right, let's go to the next verse. Here we go. Drummer's going nuts on this song. I don't know if you were you heard that or not. Oh, yeah. The drummer's going crazy on this. I love it. All right. Wow. All right. So that was my first introduction to this band, Sleep Token. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, 
they have a unique sound. Their lead singer's voice is great. Yeah, and it's really vocals. not, I can't, I think in the first song I mentioned that they reminded me a lot of Coldplay, but that was only really that first song that gave me that vibe. Uh, they sounded, I heard a little bit of like, a, ooh, who are they? Uh, Pearl Jam. He sounds a little like Pearl Jam in some of his songs. Um, this is, like I say, this to me strikes me as the, almost like Pink Floyd, the type of music you put on when you just want to relax, forget about the world become engulfed in music yeah or you know like when you really need to get some feelings out that like only just sitting and listening to music yes, can do. yes. like when you just need to like you've bask. had a long day at work and you want to drive home and not think about anything you put this on you crank it up and you just like just zone out and enjoy the music it's, it's beautiful um It'll be cool if they tour and come over to the States. We might have to go see them in the oh, concert. Yeah. They for, seem like the sure. type of band. If, I don't know how big they are. Maybe they're huge. They're pretty popular, yeah. Are they? Okay, well, uh, maybe we'll see them at a festival or something be able to go check them out. So, yeah, appreciate they... you introducing me to them. Sleep Token. Uh, I'll put them on my list, and we'll we'll uh, see if we can check out some more of their stuff. I uh, appreciate you uh, bringing this to my attention. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the music. Yeah, yeah, it was good, man. Really good. Uh, like I say, uh, uh, kind of a mix between a lot of different types of music that I like, and uh, and I'll definitely be playing some of this around the house. So, thank you, thank you. Um, as far as ranking these, I think Atlantic was my favorite. Is it really you and Telomeres were kind of neck and neck for my second and third, and then uh, that first song, I just uh, they had a lot of repeated lyrics in that first song. Yeah, a lot of repeated lyrics, and I was, I don't like songs that do that. You know what I mean? I, I the other ones were nothing like that. Uh, and and it that one stood apart so i'm kind of i'm kind of glad we started with that one and just just got better and better for me but uh i enjoyed the heck out of this if you guys enjoyed this reaction do me a favor hit that like button down below it doesn't hurt you at all and it makes me feel good when people like my videos also lets me know for a new band like this if uh there's gets enough views and likes then it lets me know you guys want to see more content like this and we'll have to revisit this band and check out some more of their stuff so yeah i've got more sleep token if it's pop if this is well received so. yeah so uh the more the more likes we get on the video and the more views we get the more chances are we'll come back to this in the future so uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, we listen to music from all around the world on this channel. Uh, we got stuff from Russia, Philippines, Korea, America, Mexico, uh, Iceland, I got all, Africa, and uh, England, of course. So uh, if you're interested in exploring new sounds from all around the world, finding new music, uh, oh, forgot about Mongolia. The Mongolia's got some uh, really interesting bands up in there as well. So. Come on over, subscribe to Touchy Reactions. We drop new videos every day from all over the place. And uh, you're welcome to suggest some music. Yeah, too. yeah. I, I read all my comments. I take all the suggestions and I will put your uh, requests on my list. Not sure when I'll get to them, but I will get to them. So Adam, thanks for joining me on this one. And hey, for the rest of y'all, I appreciate you stopping by and don't forget to come on back.